Well, the number nine Washington Huskies outlast Arizona in overtime as Pac-12 after dark electrifies again as the Huskies go to 4-0, 35-28 over Arizona. Along with Anthony Heron, Roxy Bernstein with you in a fun back and forth game all night between these two teams. And they put up a lot of yards, a lot of points. And J.J. Taylor early for Arizona set the tone. It was survival of the fittest throughout the game. Arizona, led by J.J. Taylor, showed up fit early. 97 rushing yards for Taylor before leaving the game with an injury. And in this moment, Rich Rodriguez has informed the media, J.J. Taylor, broken left ankle. It was bad to see him leave the field, so. From there, Brandon Dawkins had to take even more of a load on his shoulders. Just look at this moment right here. 330 pounder, get off me. Sideline, unconcerned. Let me fire this ball after I reestablish. Throwing mechanics down the field to shun Brown. Buda Baker, no chance. Brown not quite getting to the end zone, but then Dawkins. A little teardrop to Kern to tie the game and send it to overtime. In the overtime, Levon Coleman on a career night, and he finished with 181 rushing yards. The guy who I thought was going to be the future star of this dog's backfield made the biggest imprint on this game. The offensive line was dominant throughout. Guards were pulling, flat-backing Arizona defenders, and Coleman was the main ball carrier throughout tonight's game. Once they got to overtime, he was spelling the end zone, didn't quite get there once they actually got to the overtime period, but they leaned on him so much throughout tonight's game. So the Huskies get their first win in Tucson since 2006 as they knock off the Arizona Wildcats. Washington getting ready for Stanford coming up. Both teams unbeaten. For Anthony Heron, Roxy Bernstein reminding you, keep it locked on pack-12.com all season long.